Today we're taking a look at this board. It's a simplified version of your power ecosystem inside of your vehicle. Although your vehicle may not have all the components, but for this representation we will show the solar panel, the starter battery, which is also the alternator for the vehicle, the DC to DC charger, which feeds your auxiliary battery, your auxiliary battery, which feeds your power inverter, and the power inverter and everything else on this board is connected to our new digital remote interface, which displays everything that is happening in your power ecosystem. When we take a look at the digital remote interface, it shows the solar panel, which is feeding the system indicated by the green lines going to the DC to DC charger. It's putting out 11.4 volts, which is then feeding the 11.3 amps, which is outputting to our auxiliary battery, which is currently at 14.6 volts. When we flip the switch, it will now feed from the alternator directly, bypassing the solar panel. As you can see, the alternator is putting out 12.1 volts to the DC to DC charger, which is then feeding the 11.5 amps into our second or auxiliary battery. To move from this display to the inverter, simply press the up button. As you can see, the inverter is off, so I'll press the center button to turn the inverter on. You can see the inverter is receiving 14.7 volts. It's outputting zero watts. It's currently at 115 volts at 60 hertz. We will now add a load by turning on this lamp. As you can see, the battery is at 13.1 volts and the inverter is outputting 60 watts. Now we are going to take a look at the options mode for the digital remote interface. We will press the up arrow again. We can see the inverter has adjustable frequency settings here. In the United States, we use 60 hertz. Power save option, which means the inverter goes into a low power standby mode when not in use. Battery type, whether you are using lead, acid, or lithium batteries. And of course, low voltage alarm settings. For standard AGM, 10.5 volts is very common. Some want to adjust this for 50% battery usage, or if you are using a lithium ion battery, etc. To adjust the settings, we can press the center button, a warning will display, and to adjust the frequency, simply press the down arrow. Then to solidify your changes, long press the center or power button to turn the device off. Press again to turn it back on. Once back on, you can see the inverter was turned off, so hit the center button once again, and we can now see it's running at 60 hertz. For a simpler option for your vehicle's power system, WagonTech also offers the powered remote, which turns the system on and off using the switch. It also includes an AC output and a USB power port. And that's a quick look at our power ecosystem board. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.